Hello, and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. This is day two of my 25 days of Christmas. In today's video tutorial, I will be taking you step by step through my process of creating this 3D star ornament. So let's get started. In the Cricut Design Space, I have inserted two of the stars from the quilted ornaments cartridge. Because these stars have layers, I have ungrouped the layers and only kept the top layer of both the stars. Note that one of the stars has a loop at the top of the star. You will need one star with the loop, and you will need six stars that do not have the loop. The size of the stars is up to you, but make sure that both the stars are the same size. Now let's hit go and take a look at what we have on the map preview. As I mentioned on my previous video tutorial, I have noticed that while Cricut software will fit the items to be cut on as few mats as possible, it does not always place the items in the most economical locations to save cardstock. So I am just going to take a moment and adjust the stars so that I can conserve some of my cardstock. Let's go ahead and cut the stars. Using my score pad, I need to score a line down the middle of all the stars. Once the stars have been scored, I can fold the stars in half and use the side of my scoring tool to ensure that I have a sharp fold down the middle of each of the stars. Now that all my stars have a sharp fold down the middle, I can use my liquid glue on all the edges and as close to the center of the star as possible. As I attach the stars together, I want to make sure that the edges and the center of the stars are adhering together. Once all the stars have been glued together, I attach a piece of white ribbon to the star ornament. Later though, I changed my mind and used my EK Tools alcohol-based yellow marker on my white ribbon to turn it yellow. After the alcohol dried on the ribbon, I threaded the ribbon through the top loop of the star to create another loop and tied the ribbon off. Now I can hang my ornament and it's finished. At this point, I would like to take a moment of your time to thank you for watching my videos at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now!